Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to extrude your data set in QGIS and what to do when your data set has height value and when it does not have height value. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm going to add a base map, and I'm just going to come down to here to my OSM and add a standard base map. So we need to get some data, uh, preferably some data with some height. So I'm going to zoom into an area here in the U.S. And uh, this area is New York, the lower Manhattan area. And there's a lot of tall buildings right, right in this area. Okay, so in order to get these buildings, I'm going to use a tool called um, this OSM tool right here. And I'll leave a link in the description down below on how to add this quick OSM uh, plugin because this is a great way to export um, OpenStreetMap data any part in any part of the world where there is data. So I'm gonna select buildings because I just want to get some buildings in the canvas area. And I'll run that. In just a moment it's gonna pull all the building footprints here. Included within the buildings is the height. And I'll show that to you real quick by going to the attribute table. If I go all the way over to the end, I have height right here. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is double click onto my buildings and select the 3D view tab here within the layer properties window. It's going to default to no symbols, but let's select single symbol. From here, we're going to use this little tool right here, right under extrusion. So if I click that down arrow, I'm going to assign a field type. Now this open street map data has a lot of fields. And of course, your data is going to vary depending on what you what you have. So what I'm basically doing is selecting the height column, which is right here, from my data source. And you can see now it's highlighted in yellow, meaning I did select something for this extrusion. Okay, so I'm going to uh, click Apply and OK. We're not going to see any changes here because again, this is just the two-dimensional map. To see the three-dimensional view, we're going to come up to the top under view, select a 3D map view, and in just a moment, I have two screens, I apologize, that popped up on the other side. Um, this little 3D map pops up. Now you could dock this like up on the top, you see how my map kind of changes. I could dock it over here. I'm going to dock it right over here to the right. So I'm just basically left clicking, sliding over till that little blue box appears that I let go. So here's my three dimensional map. And what I'm doing on my mouse, I have a roller right in the middle. If I click down on that, I could kind of manipulate the map and change the direction. Okay, so there's a couple different uh, tools you could you could use here. Um, there's some identify. There's some zooming. Um, there's also some some measurements. And if you go over here to this little wrench here, which says options, you could have the 3D map follow the 2D or vice versa have the 2D follow the 3D. So for example if I click this one and if I start moving the 3D the 2D map is gonna it's gonna follow suit. If I start moving around it's gonna do its best to to follow. If I zoom in you can see where it's it's following. Vice versa, I could click onto that wrench again, have the 3D map follow the 2D map. Let me unclick this one here. And 
and this is a little more straightforward. You can see like this building right here, it's right there. If I go down, it's gonna follow. So this is just a really cool way to have a two, two screens basically. Um, but if I go back here, and I can also configure, pull this over here, and there's a lot of different options you go through and again I'm just going to show some very very basic stuff just to give you guys an idea so you guys could play around with this um, as far as like the shadows you could change the let me go back up here so if I come over here you could add some building shadows by click on the wrench and showing shadows and you can see right here let me just kind of scooch around a little bit more okay so they're coming from this direction now you could change that shadow by going to the configure I'm just gonna scooch this over here and I could change the direction to go to the opposite way hit apply and now you can see that the shadows have changed over to the other side so that's just kind of a, a neat way to manipulate that you know there's a field of view you could do perspectives so you guys could play around with that but this is just going to be a very quick easy way how to get some of your data into a 3d environment um, and again that's quick osm uh, plugin is a great way just to really bring in some data to show it now if you didn't have the height data now say like these this these building uh, this data did having height to go with it you can still extrude it so I'm going back into the regular two-dimensional map the main map here under 3d view I'm gonna deactivate this and then with extrusion I could just say I don't know say 20 here we could just play around with the units click apply everything is gonna be um, a standard size um, as you can see right here so if you didn't have the height build uh, height data, you could still extrude uh, the polygons, but the caveat would be that they're all going to be at the same height. So as always, please leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or problems or suggestions on any other videos. As always, I do greatly appreciate you guys watching, and uh, if you haven't yet, please uh, like and subscribe. I do appreciate that, and we'll see you next time.